Hey, it's Joe with Joe Lee Farms. Welcome back to the channel. So we're in hot water here today. Actually, we're going to talk about hot water and how you get hot water here in Ecuador. So I know back in the United States, um, in North America, pretty much, we have the big, um, like, 40-gallon hot water heaters that just continuously keep that water hot. You don't see those here in Ecuador. They are available, but very limited, hard to find. What they do here is a tankless hot water heater. And what we call it here is a caliphone. So caliphones actually have a really small tank inside, but they're heating the hot water, not really instantly, but they do heat it. It's not an instant hot water heater. They work really well. I have some quirks about them that you'd have to get used to. And I want to show you some of those things today. And I'm going to talk about a couple different brands that we have here on the property. The great thing about these caliphones is since we moved here, they've really dropped in price or about half the price of what they were. Um, and that's due to taking some import restrictions off of them. So now the uh, prices have come down greatly. In fact, what I'm going to show you here today is the RCA 26 liter, and this is a pretty big one. And so I paid like $400 for these. I saw them the other day in Loja for 165. I mean, that's really cheap. And I saw them at two different tiendas there for that price. So the prices have gotten really low. I always recommend you keep an extra caliphone on hand in case something happens to this on a weekend, you can't get it repaired, you can swap them out and put another one in. So these are the um, fuel tanks that we use here. It's a 14.4 liter uh, tank. They're all going to be the same. Nobody really carries a different size. Do not buy the orange ones of these. You want the black ones. The orange ones are for commercial use. Now, the black one, um, the tank itself, you have to buy, and that's going to cost you like around $60, $65. Sometimes you can find them used for cheaper. Um, but your first tank, that's what it's going to cost you. Then to refill it, you just take it in and exchange it, and it's going to be you know $250 to $3 after that. So uh, just be aware of the black tanks, and you're going to have to buy the first one, and then you just exchange them. We keep quite a few spares here because we have basically three of these um, hot water systems on the property for the different residences. So we have, you want to have at least six tanks. One tank should last you an entire month, depending on your usage. Um, but having a spare right close by is really nice when first thing in the morning you have no hot water, you need to come out here and swap one over. It makes it really easy. These have these little gas valves on them, and these are one of the things that can go bad. Um, I like the blue ones. I get it at Super, at, excuse me, at Kiwi and Loja, and they actually, I don't know if you can see it, but they have a little gauge on the side that'll tell you if they're full or not. And uh, these things are heavy to carry around when they're full. They're going to be, you know, 55 pounds probably. Um, I don't recommend this blue hose. I like the yellow hose better. It's a better braided hose. This one works. It's fine. But uh, yeah. So you'll see different brands of these uh, valves. Again, I, I do like this blue one. It works very, very well. So now here it's hooked up to our caliphone or our tankless water heater. If you'll notice, this is my water coming in, the cold water. And so what I have right here is basically a pressure reducer and backflow preventer. That's kind of important. It helps prevent scalding on the other end. If you turn the hot water on for a while and then you turn it off, and then you immediately come back and turn it on again, you can have steam come out if you don't have one of these on there. You need to have that pressure regulated properly. So I have someone who installs these that can tell you all about this and tell you how to hook that up. Be aware on the RCA 26 liter or even the smaller ones, these RCA um, hook up differently. The cold water coming in is always going to be on this right side. If you hook it up like an Instamatic, you'll be hooking it up backwards and you can ruin your tankless water heater. So, word of caution, be sure that you're hooking up your cold water coming in to the right side and it says back here under there is a little sticker that tells you exactly that. So, um, this line here will be the hot water out, which is on the left side, completely opposite on the Instamatic. So, the hot water out goes into the house and uh, diverts it all through the house. 
Now here we have a little gauge and this will tell us what our temperature is getting to. When you turn on the water this lights up red and um, is based in centigrade and so um, it will tell you exactly what your temperature is, is, will hold at. And you, that is adjustable to this control del gas. This really is adjusting how hot you want it to be. And I would recommend you take a magic marker or something and mark it right there for the temperature that you like. Um, and keep in mind uh, that this gauge right here is, is how our water is controlled. So if your water pressure drops and you've got it set kind of high over here, this gas temperature makes no difference. You're not going to get hot water. So if you've got a situation where your water pressure goes up and down, you're going to have a little bit of difficulty with this. You want to set it more to the lower end where it will work basically on a lower pressure of water. Um, if you just want it to work only on a high pressure, you would set it more over here. You see we've got a little mark right there and this is kind of where we keep our set right there. So um, if you have, let's say, water running somewhere else on the property and it affects the pressure, we still get a pretty good warm water coming out. We like that. This setting right here is a wintertime or summertime setting. So it basically inside of here has two sets of burners on this tank. And so if it's in the summertime setting, only one burner is actually running. And so if it's in the wintertime setting, then both burners are running. So um, we kind of leave it in the wintertime setting because that's the way we like it. You can play with that yourself and figure that out. Okay, I'm going to go and show you what the Instamatic brand hot water heater looks like now. Okay, so this is the Instamatic GO179. And um, so this is a 26 liter, almost as big as the other one. And you'll see right here, it will tell you when it's trying to light if the batteries are good or not. This is the water temperature setting right here. And then underneath, there is a, a little turn valve under here that you can turn for the low and high pressure. There it is, the low and high pressure of your water. Again, the cold water comes in on the right here and out on the left, so a little bit different settings. Now, the one thing I want to tell you about these tanks, the things that can go wrong are your batteries inside. The Instamatic takes one D-sized battery, which goes in a little drawer right here. And so the battery, what it does, it starts the igniter. As soon as the water kicks on, that igniter is going tick, 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 trying to light the flame inside. And so if you turn the hot water on, you're not getting any hot water, you come out here and there's no ticking, and you'll see that it's stuck over on the red side and no good, you'll know that your battery's bad and it's time to replace it. On the um, RCA heaters, they actually take two D-sized batteries. Um, not that they necessarily last any longer than these, but it's just a difference between the manufacturers. So, Instamatic, one D-sized battery, and on the RCA, two of the D-sized batteries. And so that's how that puppy works. You see here on this one, I've got the yellow braided hose. I like this hose a lot better. And I've got this one disconnected. So I've got a little bit different gas valve on this one. This one works okay, doesn't have the gauge on it or anything. Um, make sure you keep water out of these and don't let any water get in there because they will not function well once they get a little water in them. Alright, so I'm going to show you just a couple of connections that I'll put up there just so you can see what the uh, RCA looks like underneath it. And then that'll be all for this video. So the hot water systems here just, you know, they work good. You just takes a little bit of getting used to, a little bit of learning how to tweak these things. Don't be afraid of them. My friend Edwin Castillo needs to come out once a year and probably clean your burners and uh, make sure everything's in order. And uh, he does that for a small fee. If one does have a problem, he can come out and fix it. But like I said, if you have a spare, you can hang it on the wall. You can drop the other one back off to Edwin at his uh, house and Edwin can fix it for you at his leisure. Um, that way you're never without hot water. 
All right, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Thank <laughs> you.